Hi, this is Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guide. And it's that time of the year when I usually sit down and go through my uh, photography work and put together my annual calendar. Now, uh, for those of you guys who saw it last year, it came out really great. It's a 12 by 12 calendar. And I think I'm going to do one more. And there'll be more announcements after the first year. But this might be my last calendar for uh, many reasons. All good. So, rather than go through my usual collection of, again, thousands of uh, photos and, and picking them out, what I'd like to do for this year's calendar is feature you guys. And what I mean by that, well, I don't need a picture of you, and I know that would freak a lot of you out. I'd like to see a picture of where you work, not the company place, your bench, your workspace, all right? So what I'd like to do is feature 12 guys from around the United States and their workplace, all right? So I need you to submit some photos this week, all right? A couple uh, little lessons or points on that, and I wrote them down so I wouldn't miss any of them. I'm at that age, I have to write a few things down, all right? So first thing, so if you're gonna take a picture of your work area, your bench, something cool here, right? Clean your lens on your camera, all right? It's amazing, just one smudge on the camera, and when we blow that up into a print size, it shows, all right? Clean the lens. Uh, number two, set it to square. Most cameras will let you set the, uh, uh, it's usually the default is a four to three ratio, set it to square. Because this is a 12 by 12 calendar. If you don't set it to square or you can't, that's okay, but I'm going to have to crop it and you might not be happy with how I crop it, okay? Number three, check the background. Um, you know, any old snot rags laying around, soda bottles, whatever. You know, that's okay. You might have to take a picture a few times. I, I've learned to do this, but I still make mistakes. Like, why did I leave that in the background? Just take a minute, look at the picture, and, and, and make the adjustments, all right? And finally, included with your photo, and you can send me a couple, all right? Make sure uh, I need your name, your uh, city and town, and uh, if you want to put your company name in, that's fine. So let me do a, a, an example. I'm Tim Smith, or this is uh, the way I would word it. This is Tim Smith. He works at Arrow Tool and Die. Uh, this is he's, and I'd like to know how long you've been in the trade. Master tool maker, machinist, 23 years, eight months, whatever you want to put in there. And I'd like to put just a little quick bio at the bottom of each photo. So I need 12, okay? So this is going out to about 20,000 people. And if you're really proud of your workstation, as I am. Now the photo I showed you, uh, I didn't put that together for a calendar. I would have done some other things to it. And I also want you to know that uh, I will be touching them up if needed. Lighting, I'll take care of all that. So if you'd like to see your workstation, where you work every day, and I know there's a lot of guys out there that are very proud of the work they do, all right? And it'd be fun to show this off across the United States. This calendar hits all 50 states. So this is your chance to be semi-famous, better to be an infamous, all right? So send me those photos, all right? The email address is philkerner at gmail.com. I'm going to put this to bed in a week. Been a very busy guy, but I can get this calendar down ready for production and ready to ship in time for Christmas if you guys want to jump on this. So I'd be so proud, so proud. Instead of showing my stuff off, I've already done it for years. All right, 10 years, 12 years, the Tool Die guy. Uh, it's time to let you guys have the spotlight, and uh, I, I can't wait to see what you send me. Again, follow those rules, clean that lens, set it to square, get rid of the junk in the background, and email me your best to uh, Phil, uh, uh, Phil Kerner, philkerner at gmail.com. And uh, I will select the 12 best ones, and you'll be featured in this year's 2022 manufacturing calendar. Hope to hear from you soon.